Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing this look. But there is one thing you need to know that I had done a poll one or two months back, I guess. I'm sorry I'm late for that. But I had given my followers of Instagram the opportunity to choose the makeup I'll be using in my video. So whatever products you choose, I'll be using only those products in this video and I have created this look with only those products. So without any further ado, let's start with the video and to know more what I have used, please stay till the end. So yeah, and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe the bell icon below. So I've prepped up my skin with the moisturizer. Now we are going to jump into the primer. And for primer, I had given two options. That was a Smashbox primer and a MAC Stroke Cream. And the MAC Stroke Cream one, it got 54%. So today I'll be using the MAC Stroke Cream. I'll be using the Silver Light Shade. As you can see, it instantly gets a radiance on my face. So it brightens up my face a lot and it's an amazing stroke cream. I know it's on the expensive side, but yes, it is amazing. For the foundation, I gave a choice between LA Girl and Estee Lauder and Estee Lauder got 57%. So yes, today I'll be using Estee Lauder. I don't think so I've ever used Estee Lauder in my videos, but it is an amazing foundation. I am in the shade 3 and 2 Wheat. Whenever you go to find a foundation, you always get 15 to 20 shades that is the maximum in drugstore yes this is a high-end foundation but still it has so many ranges of shades that I was stunned to just check out my shade because I was so confused because there were so many shades but I got the perfect shade for my skin which is a little lighter from my skin but yes it blends with my skin very beautifully like if I have to go for a foundation I will definitely go for Estee Lauder so today I'll be using this and I'll show you how it looks on my skin one thing I don't like about this foundation that it doesn't have any pump so whenever I have to take out and use it I generally generally I take out a lot of foundation and it gets wasted so that is one thing I don't like about the packaging of the foundation otherwise the foundations coverage is amazing you just have to be very careful while taking out the foundation So for concealer, I had given two options that was Maybelline Age Rewind and Makeup Revolution and Maybelline Age Rewind got 63% words. So yes, today I'll be using that. I am in the shade Medium 130. It is almost going to get over but yes, I'm going to buy one more. Now for the loose powder, I had given an option between Maybelline Fit Me and LA Girl HD loose powder and as usual Maybelline Fit Me 1, it got 61% of votes so again I'll be using that, I wanted to use a different powder but you guys wanted to see the same powder so I'm using the same powder, I'm in the shade light 15 so yeah I'll be just going on with my beauty blender and today I'll be keeping the bake under my eyes because I have to do a lot with my eyes, so yeah. Finally, 
finally comes the main highlight of the video that is the eye shadow and for eye shadow i had given a choice between the two eye shadows that were huda beauty new nude and morphe 35w and as usual my favorite palette one that was huda beauty new nude it got 76% of both so yes today i'll be using it and the lucky part is that that it is available on nika you can purchase it if you want this is how the palette looks and i'll show you the shades inside i have already used this palette earlier with you guys but yeah today i'll be creating a look with this palette so yes let's start with it so first i will be going into the shade secret right here with my same old nyx blending brush in the number 17 and i'll be just taking it on my crease and my lid fully and i'll just go in with this So I'm going to take the shade draw now from this and it's a bit darker tone so I'll be just changing my brush and taking a bit on my outer corner and then just go into my crease this is super pigmented and they blend so beautifully Now I'll be taking this shade Spang right over here. It is more in a darker side, so I'll be just taking a little bit and intensifying the eyes a little more on just my outer corner and the crease inside. Not much, and just going with a very light hand. Okay now so the best part about this palette is that it has a concealer also in it right right here so you can you don't have to reach out for a concealer you can use it from here only and such a go to palette for everybody so i'll be just taking a concealer brush and i'll be trying to use this concealer and cutting my crease a little bit just like this oh my god the concealer is really nice i thought it's going to be very difficult to apply but no it's good the uh, glitters right over here so these two are the glitters like this these are the glitters but these are more pressed glitters so uh, when whenever you apply pressed glitters you have to go in with your fingers otherwise it's very difficult to apply but yeah i'll be going into this daydream right here and i'll be just using my fingers and applying it just look at that oh my god so wherever i have put the concealer i'll be just applying the pressed glitter right there oh my god just see one swipe and it is so beautiful you can even use a brush but it's very difficult to apply with a brush i'll still try to apply it with a brush So now I'll be going into the shade right here. This is a bit rose gold shade. So let's check out how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade Love Bite right here and intensify the eye more and just blend all the glitter and everything what I put on my eyes.
So for the under eyes, I again go with this almost the same shades which I used on my lid. So I'll be going into secret raw and span, and I'll be just popping out the colors step by step on my under eyes. So that's all for this eyeshadow. Now I'll be dusting off all the excess powder I have under my eyes. Now for the liner, I gave a choice between Kiko Precision and Smashbox and Kiko Precision 1. It got 56% of votes. So I'll be using the Kiko Milano Precision Liner which I love the most. So this is the one right here. So I'll be using this one. And I'll be doing a very thin winged liner. I'll try to do a thin liner because I want my eyeshadow to be seen. For the mascara, I had given a choice between Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and MAC. Unfortunately, Maybelline Lash Sensational one. I wanted to use the MAC mascara and show you how it looks. But yeah, we are stuck to this. Next video, you're getting a new mascara, that's for sure. But for today, this is the one right here. Also, do you want me to use falsies because I was planning to use falsies in my this video but I couldn't buy one so let me know in the comment section below if you want to see a tutorial how to use falsies and how to apply falsies I'll be doing that as well Kajal, I had given a choice between Shambor and uh, Faces Kajal and Shambor won. It got 54% of votes. So I'll be using this Shambor Kajal. This is in the shade Brown. So let me just try. I haven't ever tried this shade. I don't know if it's going to look nice on this. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. It is good enough because the eyes are so glittery and heavy so i think a light kajal can work you can even use a white or a silver kajal it looks amazing with this uh, heavy eyes so for the blush i'd given a choice between kiko 3 fusion blush and lacme blush lacme got 60 percent of the votes so i'll be using this lacme radiance lacme absolute illuminating shimmer brick it's a blush brick it looks like this it has so many shades so I'll be just dipping into this with my multi dense brush and I'll be taking all the shades right here because it's quite shimmery and pigmented and I'll be just going on the apple of my cheeks I had given a choice between Master Chrome Highlighter by Maybelline and Nykaa Glow Getter and Master Chrome Highlighter got 57% of the votes. So today I'll be using the Master Chrome Highlighter, this one right here. You've already seen in my videos. Yes, I'm obsessed and it broke also. But yeah, I'll be going in with my fan brush and this, is, this brush is from Nykaa. You can take any fan brush you like. I'll be just putting it on this. One thing I forgot in the eyes was that I just wanted to highlight my uh, this area. So I'll be just taking a shimmer color from the palette. And just putting it on this. Just to highlight my brow bone. Because otherwise it will look very dull if I don't do that.
Next up for lipstick, the last and my favorite thing. I gave a choice between Maybelline Superstay and Smashbox Always On. And Maybelline Superstay won. It got 74% of the votes. So today I'll be using my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Versatile 210. I'll be using this one right here. Unfortunately, the lipstick isn't going with my eye look, so I'll be using a little more darker lipstick with this. But yeah, because it's too uh, mauve, my eyes are very mauve, so it is very pink. So I'll be taking Trophy Wife and I'm, I'm gonna try how it looks on this. And just mixing it a little bit so that it matches the shade. So yeah, this is the final result. I keep on doing such stuff on my Instagram wherein I give some of wherein I give you the opportunity to choose the makeup I'll be using. So if you want to know more about me, just follow my Instagram. I'll leave the handle in the links below. And also, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It will mean all the world to me. I'll be back soon with something new. Till then, bye.